Hey guys, this is Cadence Noaden from Face Emoji. Um, the reason is because I'm going to be doing a Halloween DIY and tips. This is a one-time thing and I'm sorry if I offend anyone, but I personally love Halloween. So if you recreate any of my DIYs or tips, please picture it in the comments and comment it, comment it down below. I got my inspiration by a magazine that I was reading. So it was so cute, I had to recreate it and show you guys. Once again, this is a one-time thing, but if you do like it and if I get many views, I will do another one because there are some more that I've been wanting to try. So now let's get on to one of our bat clothespin DIY. I will be showing you how to do this cute and easy bat clothespin DIY that you can hang onto your cup. How I did this is I took a clothespin, colored it with a sharpie all the way except for, for the edges because trust me, I tried, it's very difficult. And I traced out some of these bat wings and I left a little bit to fit into the clothespin. Well, not fit, but to put onto the clothespin. And I taped it and as you can see, the tape will be visible if you do not color it with a sharpie, so that's what I did. I colored it with a sharpie. Now, onto one of my tips. If you don't like to get dressed up for Halloween, I suggest that you at least get an old black or white t-shirt, cut out any shape that you want using cord cardboard on it so that you cut straight and you don't mess up and cut the back as well. And after you're done that, either color, like if you're doing a black shirt like how I did, I just am going to put a white tee under it. So it will still be dressing up for Halloween. Now on to our next and last frowny face emoji again, DIY. How I created that is I traced out this kind of oval, half oval shape for the eye and I just cut that out and colored it with the highlighter. Then I traced out a circle, cut that out and um, colored that with a sharpie but I made two of these because that is the inside of the eye, that's the pupil, so we needed two. So after I did that, I made the mouth, which I needed two of these long sheets of paper because mine did not fit. And what I did was just trace out on the edge of this some triangles and I cut those out to make the illusion of teeth and I did not have to cut that out because it is already white. I repeat, that was a one time only, but I will do a second one because I have some different ones I want to try as well. If you do like, comment, and subscribe, if I don't get much views, then I won't do another one. But if you want to see more, please like and subscribe, and the next video will be with Aiden. So, 